In this video, we're going to look at proving that a triangle is right angled. So Pythagoras' theorem is, if you square the two shorter sides of a right angled triangle and add them together, it's equal to the square of the longest side. So in other words, if your triangle is right angled and you square the two shorter sides and add them together, you will get the same numerical value as the, uh, the longest side squared. That means also that if it's not a right angled triangle, then they won't equate. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to look at proving that triangles are right angled by squaring the two shorter sides and adding them together and checking that it equals the length of the longer side squared. If we've got a triangle and let's state then obviously to begin with a squared plus b squared equals c squared. We're going to use Pythagoras' theorem to show that this is right angle triangle or not. So uh, the shorter sides, well it's going to be the 6 and the 7 and the longest side is going to be the, <coughs> the 12. So then what we're going to do is we're going to do a squared plus b squared. So a squared plus b squared would be equal to a is 6 squared plus b is 7 squared. And whenever you work that out, you're going to get 36 plus 49. And whenever you add those two together, you're going to get 85. Now let's try c squared. Well, c squared is equal to 12 squared and 12 squared is 144. Therefore, they're not the same as each other. So a squared plus b squared does not equal c squared. Therefore, um, it is not a right angled triangle. Okay? Let's have a look at number one. So this time we've got uh, again, let's say a Pythagoras term, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. We use that to show that if it's a right angle triangle or not. It looks more like a right angle triangle this time, so let's see. So again, let's label the sides. So we're going to label them a, b, and c. So a and b are the two shorter sides. So a and b are the two shorter sides, and c is the longer side. So a squared plus b squared. So a squared plus b squared would be equal to, well, a is equal to 8 then squared plus b is equal to 6 and then squared that would be 6 squared and then work those out so 8 squared is 64 plus uh, 6 squared is equal to 36 and add those together would equal 100 then this will work out c squared well c squared will be 10 squared which is equal to 100 therefore a squared plus b squared does equal c squared therefore it is a right angled. It is a right angled triangle. Okay, and one last example. <clears throat> this time we have got one. It does look like a right angled triangle, but we just need to check it. So we're going to label the sides again. So A, B, and C. So A and B, the two short sides, and C being the largest one. Then state Pythagoras' theorem a squared plus b squared equals c squared and then work out a squared plus b squared well a squared would be 8 squared plus b squared is 24 squared and let's work out what that would be so that would be 64 plus 576 whenever you add those two together you get 640 c squared, well c squared will be equal to 25 squared, which is equal to 625. Notice these two aren't the same as each other, so that means that a squared plus b squared does not equal c squared, so not a right angle triangle, not right angled. Oh, a right angled triangle. Okay.